Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. We've actually got a ton of announcements this week, including that Amazon Elastic MapReduce now supports next-gen instance types. There is a new AWS Systems Manager feature called Session Manager. Lambda now supports PowerShell Core. AWS Config now supports Code Pipeline. And we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Krunenberg. And me, Faye Ellis. So Amazon EMR, or Elastic MapReduce, now supports a whole new load of instance types. And if you haven't used EMR before, it's a fully managed, scalable big data platform which is based on the Hadoop framework. So EMR now supports the latest generation of compute-optimized C5D instances, general purpose M5D, as well as the memory-optimized R5 instances. And this means that you can now select the latest and greatest instance types which cater for the most advanced compute, memory, and IO-intensive workloads. There is a new AWS Systems Manager feature called Session Manager, and this is a really exciting new interactive shell and CLI, which enables you to securely log into EC2 instances without having to configure security groups, SSH keys, or Bastion hosts. It uses a private connection called AWS Private Link between your VPC and your instances to avoid sending traffic over the public internet. And sessions can also be audited using CloudTrail, and keystroke logs can be sent to CloudWatch logs or S3. So big news on the Lambda front, Lambda now supports PowerShell Core, and you can now develop Lambda functions using PowerShell Core 6 and using the .NET Core 2.1 runtime. And you can use any of the available PowerShell commands or commandlets, and you can also develop your own as part of your own Lambda function. So this means that you can now use Lambda to execute PowerShell scripts in responses to any supported Lambda event. For example, any S3, DynamoDB, SNS, or CloudWatch event. And there are loads of project templates available to help you get started. AWS Config now supports Code Pipeline. And if you don't remember, AWS Config is a configuration management tool, and Code Pipeline allows you to automate your code release and delivery processes. So you can now use Config to record and track all changes to your Code Pipeline configuration, allowing you to address any audit, change management, and compliance requirements. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answers this week were B and C. And loads of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Harish Pawar. And Harish is an associate consultant at Infosys in Pune in India. So congratulations to Harish. There's an A-Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and a hand sign card out to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2019. So the new question is now live on our Facebook page. Please check out the link below and to enter in for your chance to win a ticket to reInvent. And that's all from us. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud Gurus. And we'll see you next time.